starting. We're, we're not going to start yet. We're not going to start until 730. Okay. But this is going to be on the record now. So <laughs> <laughs> we're figuring out how to link this to the various outlets like Facebook and Instagram because people really need to see this. What live. are the chords? Oh, he is woefully unprepared, folks, to guest host my show, Quarantine no, Break with Jen. I'm not guest hosting. I'm the guest. He's the guest, but he wants to play the intro music and do the poem. There's a method to my sh There's a rhythm to my show, and he's just he's messing it all up. What are the chords? What key? Z C. Hey, hey, to G. World's on fire, A minor is so calm and have a cup of tea with me. You end on a C. That's what it is. It's almost 7.30, so you better be ready. You better be ready to host this. We have one viewer? Wow. Are you? <laughs> have we figured out how to link it yet? A cup of tea with Beautiful, beautiful intro music. <laughs> Wearing the hat. My hair is literally standing Are you going to link it to the other accounts? Um, no. Yes, if I can figure out how to do that. Well, we've got three minutes to figure that out. We're starting right at 7.30 on the dot. We don't mess around, people, with quarantine break with Jen. This is very serious business. I'm going to ask you some tough questions, so I hope you're ready. I hope I you're hope, ready to be my guest I on this show. So too. There's a lot of things you could be streaming right now so, that are quality content. So thank you if you are actually streaming this. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Going live in two minutes. Okay. At least that gives people some agency in whether to choose whether or not they <laughs> actually view it. That's true. All right. Well, are you ready with your poem? You have to have a poem and you have to talk about the tea you're drinking. Do you even have the tea box up here? No, I don't have the tea Peter! box. Peter! <laughs> you better talk to the viewers right now, not just look at your phone. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I need to make that public. So I can okay. share it. Here's the tea box. All right, we got the tea. You got you're doing the intro music, and you have your poem ready. Wait, I'm doing the intro. I mean, no, I, I was going to accompany you. Oh. No, I think you should do it by yourself. So I'm going live on Instagram, so you need to uh, introduce it to your Instagram followers, too. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? There we go. Okay. So it's 7.30, we want to give it just a couple minutes? No, I think we should start. Our fans? Our fans. Wait. <sighs> hey, hey. Tea break with Jen and my only in person guest for the foreseeable future, Peter, 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 Cornelius, 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 Gallagher, Gallagher, Gallagher. 
Peter Gallagher, welcome to Tea Break with Jen. Thanks, Jen. It's a big honor to be on. Tell us first what you're drinking. Well, I'm drinking one of two herbal teas that we currently have in our house. Mm -hmm. I had the other one earlier today, so I've gone with the other one, which is throat coat. I was kind of sick yesterday and still feel a little sick today. Hopefully not. You know what? Um, Every time, by the way, one of us thinks we have coronavirus, <laughs> we uh, say we quote this meme that we saw that's this little chihuahua and it has a thought bubble. And he's like, every time I get sick and the chihuahua is like, is that you, Rona? And so we'd say, is that you, Rona? Every time one of us is sick or thinks we're sick. True. Yeah, I am also drinking throat coat. It's delicious. And it is caffeine-free herbal tea, non-GMO. It's delicious. So, Peter, yes. what poem have you chosen for us today? Well, hey, do you want to say a little bit about your channel to the folks? That oh, yes. Okay. So I started a YouTube channel. It's called Quarantine Break with Jen. And I have six interviews that are on the channel right now on YouTube. And I started it because I actually just wanted to informally information share and talk to people around the country. So it's basically just me drinking tea and FaceTiming friends and family members and talking about mental health and talking about um, what their lives look like on a day-to-day -day basis and any tips or tricks they have to cope or get through. And um, I spent the past two years working in the mental health field. And so I thought, you know, I'd like to do something to help people get by in some small way. And it's just been really fun, actually. It's just informal information sharing. And every guest that I've have had on so far has been awesome. Um, so we'll see if Peter can hold his own on this show. Because I'm going to ask him some, <laughs> we will see. some tough questions. I've also been in the room for all of them, commented during most of them. He thinks this is super dumb, by the have way. So really, no, I don't. You kind of you kind of think uh, it's dumb. I kind of do, but it's in a sweet way. <laughs> it is, uh, but they've actually been genuinely wonderful conversations. They've been good conversations. So, first of all, I usually start every show with um, a poem because April's Poetry Month. So, since Peter's my guest and kind of co-hosting this, I'm going to have him read a poem for you. So, what poem have you chosen, Peter? Well, first of all, I love that you honor National Poetry Month by doing a poem at the beginning of your YouTube broadcast. Poetry is I important. Really, poetry is important. Art Espe is going to get us through this experience. Especially in these troubled times. In Most these, especially. In these uncertain times. <laughs> in these uncertain times. I haven't <laughs> cleaned up my hair <laughs> since uh, March. So Nobody cares. She ripped the hat off my head. So I guess we're going with that. So this is a, uh, it's actually song lyrics from a, um, like folk country musician based out of Oklahoma who um, sort of about reverence and a sense of stewardship for the natural world, which I know I've been taking a lot of walks and spending a lot of time in the natural world. And so it just seemed like appropriate for this moment for what a lot of us are mm. experiencing right now. Beautiful. So, I teared up a little bit. <laughs> you did. Yeah. I was kind of tearing up actually too. Who's so, the author? Well, I'll just read it and then let's see maybe if we can figure out who the tiger is. And this is just going to be an excerpt. Okay. Go for it. <clears throat> Take a sip of my tea before I start. <sighs> okay. Tell all the hunters to lay down their guns. <laughs> yes. Tell them that the tiger needs a little bit of love. <laughs> Let them run the jungle. Let them roam their land. Mm. Then stand back and marvel. <laughs> what a beautiful cat. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen that, Tiger King yet. Because right? oh, I done saw yet. a tiger. Now I understand. <laughs> I saw a tiger. And the tiger saw a man. Slow clap. Oh. I can give I can give them a home safe and warm. But the law wants to ban We just lost a viewer. The law wants to ban me. <laughs> can you tell me who's wrong? Every time they move, every time they breathe, I can feel their power. I can feel their beast. Cause I saw a tiger. Now, now I, I understand. understand. I saw a tiger. And the tiger saw a man. 
Excellent choice. Excellent choice of poetry there, Peter. Thank you Beautiful so much lyrics. for that. Beautiful and Love poignant. Rhyming land and I thought cat. that. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess he didn't actually, well, actually he may have written that song, but he did not sing that song. Fun fact. Weird, because his voice sounds He so hired a band great. to sing that song. So it's not actually him. Okay, so Peter, thank Effort. you for your poem. I You're would welcome. like to ask you a couple questions. Okay. Firstly, what is the institution that you work for and what are they doing right now? In response to COVID nineteen, thanks, Jen. I uh, I work for the Innovative Genomics Institute, which is a joint venture of UC Berkeley and UCSF. And while I can't tell you the specifics of everything that we're doing, because I'd have to kill you, what I can say is that uh, we to totally, essentially, scrapped pretty much everything we're doing and are just uh, focusing on a response to COVID nineteen. And I use the term we loosely because I actually had nothing to do with that. And in reality, like uh, one of our directors was saying the other day, like, you know, they could have just, they didn't have to do that. Like they could have just stayed at home and been watching Netflix. You know, what they did was a very tall order. But in three weeks, we stood up a, uh, a fully operational testing facility. And there is, uh, which is serving people free of charge in the Bay Area right now, which is, as far as I understand, one of the few places that's actually doing that and is meeting uh, one of the most urgent needs that we have, which is diagnostic testing, which is not being met. Um, so if one were to, if a person needed to go get tested there, what would they have to do? Well, so we don't actually, so we partner with health institutions to deliver tests. So you'd still have to go through health institutions, although there is outreach that like, we've partnered um, with, uh, UC Berkeley, in particular the fire department, and uh, are doing outreach to like homeless encampments and stuff like that, which is oh, pretty cool. So like cool. both essential workers that are particularly vulnerable by virtue of them doing activities that has them out and about, and then also um, homeless camp people that live in like really close quarters that are, you know, there was in San Francisco, there was a um, homeless shelter where there was an outbreak and it was like half the total cases in San Francisco came just from that outbreak. So yeah. That's terrible. So is there any kind of hotline that someone could call if they suspect their spouse of having COVID? <laughs> and they feel uh, like they should be quarantined away from you know, else? You know, Jennifer, I can't, that's a really great question. I can't speak to that necessarily. What I can say is that you're at like right here right now, a 10, <laughs> you probably need to come down to like a six <laughs> as far as your anxiety. <laughs> Well, Peter Gallagher, any since this show does have an emphasis on mental health, any advice you can give on coping in a time? Well, he is also in school. I'll mention that. He's in an MBA program at Berkeley, and he's also working full time. And we also have a six-month-old child, six months today. So cheers to that, which is why I'm in a bathrobe at 740 on a Saturday. I'd be doing this even if we weren't quarantined. <laughs> so Peter. Yes. Mental health tips, tricks. Mental health advice. tips. Advice. Marry well. Marry thoughtfully. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, actually going for walks has been really great because I don't have a commute anymore. So those of us that are working from home and then also when I do school from home, it's like I'm at this one desk. I'm pointing to it, although you can't see that. Or like a long time you know nine or ten hours a day up to about 12 or 13 and so it's like the i do like a commute walk essentially um at the beginning and end of my day and then usually over lunch too and uh you know i miss the gym i miss my actual commute i miss seeing people and i definitely miss seeing my classmates but um you know making the most of it so walking for me has been a big one and then i take our kid at 5 p.m. to work out most weekdays too, which has been really fun. Which is really, really nice. And sometimes when we're really bored, I'll play a song super loudly that I know that he hates, and then he retaliates by playing one even louder that he knows that I hate. So if you're tired of shouting, you could do that. You could. <laughs> That's free advice, True. folks. 
That one's free. <laughs> the first one's free. All right. Well, we've we've hit our time limit because pe my spouse over here has told me that my videos are way too long and no one will watch them to the end because the first one's 22 minutes long. Nick and also, says, yo. Yo, Nick. Hi, he's watching. I can't believe people are watching. That's awesome. So Five people. <laughs> five people. Thank you, five people. Um, hey, smash that subscribe button, on, as the kids would say. Yeah, on so I will be posting videos as often as I can. You can subscribe and check them out. We're trying to get sponsors. Tea sponsors. I mean, this show is all we about tea and everybody. mental health and taking a break. So, yeah, tune in if you've enjoyed. You can like it, and I will be posting lots and lots of uh, videos of friends and family that live all over the country. So it is cool to get different perspectives about what's going on in their immediate area. Informally, information share, nothing sensationalized. It's just people talking to people, um, which is can be refreshing um, because I went down the news rabbit hole of watching the news and getting amped up, and I think none of us really need that. It's good to stay informed, but just limit that news intake and take care of yourself. And thank you for tuning in. I'm going to cut this one short. And um, I may be editing videos in the future because my first couple ones were rough and people didn't answer my FaceTime <laughs> calls the first time I called. It was there for those. So maybe edited from here on out. We'll, and we'll if you're a guest, it. maybe pick up your phone. Just saying. If you're a guest, <laughs> you know she's going to call. <laughs> Having my guests have been awesome. Thank you to all my guests. And if you're interested in being interviewed, please get a hold of me. Um, you can instant message me or you can email me, jnnfr.sandoval at gmail.com. Um, if you'd like to be interviewed, all you have to do is be drinking tea, be willing to talk about the tea you're drinking, and you need to be willing to talk about uh, what your life looks like right now and be as candid as possible and um, any mental health tips or tricks. Nick's officially interested. Nick's interested. All right, Nick, we need the male perspective. If you are of the male persuasion, because all my guests have been female, um, then you can, except for, present, except company for present, present company. So if, yeah, if you want to be interviewed, please. La tea. Tea. I'm not going to say that every time I'm going to say cheers. 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 Until next time. All right. Goodbye. Great job, Jen. <laughs>